Today we're going to be taking a look at the iHome wireless optical mouse. It is compatible for both Mac and PC. So it says wireless connectivity, optical center. Flip it over to the back, scroll wheel, of course, that's pretty obvious. Adjustable DPI. Now for those of you who don't know, DPI stands for dots per inches. There's a button underneath that pretty much enables the speed of your mouse pointer. So if you want it to go faster, you can do that. Also, say you do a lot of editing work like I do, being able to change the DPI enables you to be more precise with your editing. USB nano receiver connects mouse to computer. Storage for USB nano receiver. Optical sensor, that is right there below. They actually spelt it wrong, believe it or not. I'm not sure why I caught that, but yeah, they put Cessor. The power switch is positioned somewhere in the middle. Package content, wireless optical mouse, USB nano receiver, two AA batteries or two AAA batteries, system requirement, Mac OS, and PC, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, USB port. I'm currently using it for my Windows PC. Wireless connectivity, wirelessly connect mouse via USB nano receiver, two AAA batteries. The second one says optical sensor. High performance optical sensor, ideal for gaming, graphics, and everyday use. And the last one says easy setup. Plug in the USB dongle to your computer and start using the mouse immediately without syncing. Without even syncing it, meaning you don't have to download any softwares, any extra BS in order to have this mouse work. It's pretty sweet. Let's try it out. But where's the mouse? Oh, sh at first glance, you see a beautiful aerodynamic mouse. Just in case you have short, stubby fingers, it does extend down to here. So you could even click it at this point. It's pretty sweet. Not sure what I'm doing to my computer right now, but I hope it's some good. Actually, I haven't even connected the nano receiver yet. Notice at the bottom here, it says DPI. Once again, that stands for dots per inches, which means every time you click this, you're pretty much adjusting how fast or how slow your pointer speed is. I'm not sure what this button even is, but the box does show wireless connectivity. And this is the on and off switch. If you click this button right over here, that's actually for the batteries, I'm pretty sure. So press and pull, I think pill. No, not pill. So just press it. And get that bottom hub out and right down here you should see the two AAA batteries it's cool not even sure what brand this is there is actually two indicators one shows positive and the other one shows negative so make sure this is facing upwards just like that and stick it in there the other one should be facing downwards and once again place it in there take the bottom hub once again make sure it's orientated properly take the front here you stick the clips inside of the socket just like this and then you push it back on. This mouse is actually more smoother than this one. This is my Logitech mouse that I'm replacing with this one. It's not only smoother, it looks better and it feels better in the hand. That pretty much wraps it up for this video guys. Benji D here from Get Fix. I really do appreciate you being here and I'm out. Peace.